Good morning, Tube, and welcome back to another daily edition of Gals Barber Vlogs. I am running a little bit late. I uh, got an appointment at 9 a.m. this morning. Today is Wednesday, guys. Today normally is my day off, but since I am leaving out of town this weekend, um, I decided to call myself in. So I am working today and tomorrow, and then I'm off Friday through Monday. Then I'll return on Tuesday back to work. Um, uh, you know, yesterday there was some discussion because I did, you know, I announced that I was leaving for the weekend, and uh, a couple of the barbers, Mike Ward specifically, asked me how I, you know, how I manage my team when I'm gone, you know, and well, how I go about it. And uh, so I'm gonna explain it to you guys, you know, as a barbershop owner, you know, it's difficult, you know, especially me because I'm a hands-on barber. Uh, I'm the time, I'm the head barber at my shop. Nobody does more haircuts than I do. So, uh, with that being said, you, you can all already imagine when I'm gone, you know, things don't always tend to run the same way. And uh, sometimes it's difficult for me to leave. I, I, I don't like leaving, especially on the weekends. When uh, me and my lady or, or we, we go do something, I always tend to do it on my days off. So, if I go on vacation to, say, Laughlin, I'll leave Sunday through through Wednesday. Uh, leave through the journey, not busy days. So, I rarely take a weekend off. But this weekend, we do it once a year. I go with my cousins, and we go to a, a an away game, Raider game, and uh, uh, to a different city, every a different stadium every year. So this year, we're going to Cincinnati. So I'm heading out there on Friday. So yeah, today's topic is going to be about, well, what do I do to get myself prepared to leave my shop behind? Now, normally, I have a, a, a full-on manager. You know, and it's always been somebody who works for me, but those gentlemen have all are all gone now. So right now, at the moment, uh, I guess you could say my manager is uh, uh, my, Tony and Janelle. You know, both of them. You know, Tony Tony helps me a lot, and he does the box for me if I need him to do the box. Doing the boxes when we do the register at the end of the day to pay all the barbers out. Uh, He'll he'll do it or Janelle will do it. This weekend Janelle's handling it for me. She's taking care of Friday, Saturday. Uh, Tony's gonna take care of it on Sunday. And uh, you know, the little benefit I give them for doing the box for me is like they get eighty percent. They get an extra ten percent on on, on on top of what they make. So it helps me out a lot. It helps them out a little bit. So what's going on? I'm jamming out this weekend, and uh, and you know, Mike asked me like, how do I take care of that? Who who who, who does all this for me? So yeah, there's always you know, when you run a business, you can't do everything all by yourself, and, and that's my problem. Sometimes I try to do everything all by myself, and then instead of delegating some of the 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 um, things that need to be done, and uh, but that's my fault. But you know, I'm working on that to get better at it, and and I and I'm sure I will get better at it. But all right, guys, I'm here now. Get started on this day, and we'll see what's up. All right, grind on, guys. I hope you guys are awake already. Every day is a win. Since I was told that you don't want me, baby, you're just cold. You know I try to hold on to it. I still you move. I'm the type of person that really, uh, you know, I love my job, I love my business, and uh, my business is everything, you know. You know, that's that's how I earn my money, and that's that's is what I do. So I always I always want my business to run the exact same way as when I'm here, and um, you know, yeah, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, on on the norm, it, it does, you know. Sometimes little things happen here and there. Maybe I overreact or. You know, but I it just, I expect everything to run the same way. And sometimes it doesn't. And, and when it doesn't, you know, that's when I get angry. Things don't happen too good. And, you know, so I just got to keep my head, keep myself level-headed. And uh, just prepare myself. 
prepare myself that way when I leave everything is copacetic and uh, everything usually runs smooth you know my daughter's uh, she's gonna be the one in charge this weekend she's gonna really be doing everything uh, uh, as far as taking care of the box so this is our first time actually taking care of everything so um, let's see how she handles it you know because she has a little baby at home too so it's hard you know but the good thing is her and Raul Raul who is my apprentice yeah, uh, it's her man. So they're gonna both be taking turns working. So uh, they might work one day together if they can get a babysitter. But if not, they're gonna be taking turns. And uh, J Lo will be working on Friday. Raul will stay home with the baby, and then uh, probably they'll be switching off back and forth, uh, which is a good thing. You know, they they they're both. J Lo's a little bit. She's just more seasoned, you know. She's still, you know, she's already been a barber for years, and Raul's only my apprentice. So, uh, you know. Right now, she's a little bit faster. Of course, she's faster, and, and you know, and, and, and with time, they'll they'll level out. But for now, uh, um, it's gonna be important for this weekend, and, and hopefully, um, and, I, and I have uh, I have faith in my in my crew that 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 the shop will run steadily while I'm gone. I have faith in them, and they're a good crew, and I, and I believe in them. So I'm not too worried about that part. So headed back to the shop right now. I'm gonna grab some lunch here for the guys. I'm gonna head back, finish this day strong. I haven't recorded a haircut yet. I'm gonna try to get something on there for you guys. Uh, I've already done about five haircuts, uh, two appointments. I got another appointment coming in this afternoon. The appointments are starting to take off. There's, people are starting to realize that, you know, an appointments are a good idea. Yeah, it's a few dollars extra, but you know what? It's worth not having to wait. And if you're getting a haircut by me, you normally have at least an hour wait. So, and, and I'm pretty fast, but you know, lately it, I, I've been getting more and more busy and I don't know if it's the videos that I'm making, but it just seems like me personally, I'm getting very, very busy all the time. So I'm gonna go back, finish this day off and then uh, we'll see what brings us uh, to this uh, to this weekend, man. I, I'm... <laughs>